just making an appeal to you Europeans mostly. It applies to us here too. Don't get me wrong. But I want to talk a little uh, common sense to you Europeans. You better get the kids out of the room. Because I'm boiling hot angry about what's going on. And my tongue tends to get a little loose when that happens. Got the kids out of the room? Uh, you Europeans need to wake the hell up, and you're going to have to kick your uh, legislators in the ass and kick these so-called migrants right back where they came from. Look, yeah, it's cold-hearted, boo-hoo, but uh, you got to understand something. Here's an article by about Germany that's in a state of siege. If Germany goes down, let's say Germany collapses and these Muslims take over. Then you have a very powerful military that will be controlled by Muslims. This is the whole point. See, they're not going in with guns and tanks and bombs because that wouldn't work. We'd blast them to the hell, and that would be that. So they flood the, uh, ISIS floods Europe with all these migrants, and they're going to overwhelm these governments and bring them down. And then, of course, eventually take over. They're already, according to this article, they're already starting to institute Sharia law in Germany. This is beyond belief. How long did it take us, with guns and tanks and bombs and planes, to take uh, Germany in World War II? It took us longer in taking these people to effectively take over Germany. Only we did it to stop an insane madman. We didn't have any choice. And this leads to my point. You see, if your governments fall, then we're going to have to come over there and rescue your butts again. We rescued your butts in World War One. After uh, we were shipping arms on board a uh, ship called the Lusitania, and the Germans torpedoed it because uh, we were violating international law. Allies where somebody was. I'd have to look up who the arms belonged to, but Lusitania was a passenger ship and they're shipping arms on it. That's a no no. When we're in inter international law, you don't do that. So the Germans torpedoed it and they're within the rights, but of course, press gets the American public all riled and bringing all our gold boys over there in Europe. Then along comes World War II, we pressure the Japanese to uh, start strangling the oil supplies. Of course, they were attacking China and places in uh, Asia, which is the reason why we were doing that, probably. But uh, we did that, and then, of course, they attacked Pearl Harbor, and then we're in Europe. And, you know, it took us almost a year after Normandy to get in there and get the Nazis finished off. Well, we never did finish them off. They're still around. We had to destroy most of Europe in order to stop the bastards. Now... Watch out. Europe's being conquered at an unbelievable pace. Because you people are allowing uh, you're allowing these Islamics to just flood in there. No rhyme or reason. No test to see if they're uh, good, decent people or terrorists. 
ISIS has publicly stated that they intended to do this, and many they publicly stated that many of the fighters are their fighters are going to be among so-called migrants. You know, it's stupid. And we're stupid over here, too. We've been screaming at our legislators trying to get them get that southern border shot. They won't listen to us. So I say throw all the bums out. I've been saying this for a long time. We need to pick non-party candidates all over the country don't belong to any can party, but they love America and want, and want to uh, follow American principles and constitution. And then we could just remove the ruling class and put people like this in. But we don't have the media on our side. It will be a peaceful, legal, and bloodless revolution. Or we can bring America back to her roots. We don't have media on our side, unfortunately. Okay, be that as it may. So, what's my motive again? Well, I don't want us to go over there and... Uh, I don't want this to be... Uh, D-Day number two, where we go in with guns and tanks and bombs, only this time it'll be a thousand times worse. At best. So, I'm appealing to you people in there in Europe. Get, demand that that border, your borders be sealed. Demand it. You're gonna have to start deporting them, too. There might be you know, some of them are decent people, but you have to proceed with extreme caution because we know who we're dealing with. I'm going to uh, get rid of this article. I'm going to come on briefly on camera and we can discuss this. Okay, uh... So who is Artifacts from Mars? Well, I'm a redneck from Western New York State. A redneck for you European people, uh, we're kind of a different breed. We love guns, we love hunting and fishing, we love country music. All the things that the Washington elite and the press despise. We're ignored, we're, uh, Treated like second class citizens, so on and so forth. But I am sick and tired of that border being open, so are a lot of people in this country. We want tanks on that border, get it sealed to protect this country. Traditionally, it's been the oceans that have protected this country. Now, you Europeans have got to stop this flood of. Islamics coming into your country. It's not just Islamics, but you got to stop the flood. Whoever they are. Because if your government's fall, then we have a D-Day situation. We're going to wind up uh, coming over to rescue your bots again. And I don't want to see that. Already in Germany... Like I said, the women are being told to keep their bodies covered by the Islamics. That's how far it's gotten. So if you think it isn't real, you're uh, pretty sad. Uh, so, you're going to have to <laughs> depose your rulers, I guess, if they won't get the situation under control. You're going to have to do something. Oh, there's that darn twitch every time I start talking about the stuff. Uh, I get this little twitch. So, uh, 
get in the t throw your rulers out if they won't get those borders shot and start deportations. I don't know what I'll tell you. Your government's fall to the Islamics. Then what you're going to have is a situation where you'll have radical Islamics in control of very powerful militaries and navies. And England and France, of course, if they fall, they have nuclear weapons. I haven't heard specifically that Germany does, but it uh, wouldn't surprise me any. I don't want us to have to bail out your butts again. This is my whole point. And you're not going to like living under Islamic law, I guarantee you that. There's no freedom. Women are treated like beasts. And men aren't much better off. So my advice to you, if your leaders won't do something about this situation, then there's that damn twitch again. If your leaders won't do something about this situation, then you're going to have to. What else can I say? You're going to have to take charge of the situation. I mean, you the people. Before this gets out of control, if it doesn't stop soon, you know, it'll be like having 20 countries with modern weaponry run by essentially Nazis. It's sickening. Get off your asses and do something about you Europeans. Oh, and uh, copy this video if you wish. I want you to copy it. Translate it. I don't care how you do it. Translate it into the different languages. German, English, what? Well, you want to translate it in English. German, French, Spanish, whatever. Copy it and translate it. I don't care how you do it. I let people copy my videos and use them as they wish. I don't give a shit. I'm not going to be copyrighted anyway. Get off your asses. Drop your cocks. Grab your socks. As we say here in the United States. Well, let's say it in the Navy. Drop your cocks and grab your socks. And get those borders sealed up. If your leaders won't do it, fire them. Throw them out of office. All of them. I don't care how you do it. Situation is much too serious. Your military should be protecting your countries. Look who we got in office. We're not going to protect you anyway. Unless we get somebody with some decency in there. Instead of this piece of shit that we have now. Get off your butts. And stop these. Stop this while you still can. That's my advice. Begin deportations. Put them back where they belong. It's not my problem. Not our problem. And I don't want you people, to, your countries, to become our problem yet again. And I don't want another situation where the Russians invade half of Europe and order and then don't give it back either. No artifacts of Mars. Do something about it, people. Get off your asses. You're going to have to do something. No artifacts of Mars. I come from Western New York. I'm an American. I'm a redneck. That's how I see it. Bye now.